Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hotfix, <laughs> our ultimate gaming debate show. Hello. Is, is your Hello. dog? Is your dog smiling at me, Mr. Kirioff? It appears that he's, he's she, or she even. She smiles me at a, everyone. She a, smiles at everyone. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> is it, no, anyway. it's, it's not asleep. <laughs> I've seen its eyes. Its eyes moved. Its eyes moved. Yeah, no, she's she's pretending to be asleep. She's pretending, bloke, pretending. Uh, you know what? Let, lies. <laughs> lies. <laughs> See if it'll give a poor bloke. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it. The eyes of the world are on it. I guarantee you, I can guarantee you she won't. <laughs> well, just take it then. <laughs> Give it a ball. Dog. Dog. Hello, come here. Wave, yeah. wave. Hello. Oh, my Hello. God. Well. She does not care. Look at it. She's like, go away. <laughs> so, I don't blame her. Well, I don't blame her either. I mean, it must be terrible being locked up with you all day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Hotfix. And as I said at the start of this, this is our... Topical gaming debate show where we take a topic and we debate it like legends would debate such a thing. And there is there is news, Mr. Kirioff, which broke uh, yesterday. Ooh. Well, is. I very right. loosely call we, it news, we, but we can't say news. <laughs> okay, but we thought it was worth covering because this is it's kind of interesting what's gone on. So Blizzard, they've come out and they've said, ladies and gentlemen, we have been working on an MMO for seven years now and. Well, we're not anymore. We're cancelling it. This is Titan, ladies yep. and gentlemen. Everybody has heard this. It's like Titan, Titan, Titan. It's going to be the next yeah. big thing. I think the best place to start, Mr. Kirioff, is what exactly is or was Titan supposed to be? I mean, this is part of the problem. We know it was an MMO. Well, yeah. But even that, even that, though, is massively vague. It was a next-gen MMO, which is, unless you kind of see it, kind of meaningless. It was going to be a new IP, so it wasn't linked to World of Warcraft or Starcraft or anything like that. It was entirely new. Um, and that's that's like the details. Everything else is like it was seven years in production before it was cancelled. At one point, it had a hundred members of staff working on it, including like the A team from World of Warcraft. So they pulled all their best minds onto it. Yeah. By the time it got cancelled, though, it was down to thirty members of staff, and their entire job was to assess the game and decide whether it was even worth carrying on with, which presumably they decided it wasn't. In re in two thousand and thirteen, it was rebooted, so it had been in development for like six years there. And they rebooted the entire project. And, importantly, cancelled two weeks before BlizzCon. Now, I don't know whether that's because people were expecting some sort of announcement regarding Titan at BlizzCon, because, you know, it's it's kind of been under the radar a bit the last year or so. So it's like, were they just getting in quick in case people went to BlizzCon and were like, they're going to announce Titan? Because that's the thing as well. There's no idea as to what the setting is, what the progression methods are, what the gameplay was going to be like, what the story was. And actually, as pointed out by, uh, I think it was Metzen, they never actually officially announced Titan. There no, was no, yeah. like, there was no press release. There was no kind of... No. But yeah, the thing but, is, like, they, had, they put oh, the job listings up, and they yeah. had people, like, say, oh, what's this? A job listing for a game called Titan. And then everyone, every single site in the world went, oh, my God, what's Titan? And they were asked what Titan was. And they're like, well, it, it's going to be an MMO, and it's, uh, it's, it's going to be next-gen. And that was like all the details they ever gave. They never announced what kind of game it was going to be, you know, what the setting was, anything like that. There's no kind of, hit, look world, here is our game. It was more like, well, you keep asking us about this game, so here is a little bit of information about the game. And then they had that stupid release schedule leak. Um, I think it was uh, in 2013. Oh, yes, this was the Chinese thing, wasn't it? Because didn't somebody get sacked yeah. as a result of this? I remember this happening. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone <laughs> got fired for it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's a bit weird. The whole thing is a bit weird because from a company like Blizzard, you do not expect like vagaries of that magnitude for seven well, I mean, years. Just go you? back a second. I mean, so they never officially announced it. We know this. They didn't announce it, but they spoke about it at BlizzCon. They spoke about it in a lot of different places. They, they said, you know, mm. we are working on this game and it is a next gen MMO. Now, obviously, in my book, that kind of constitutes just like a, a, a soft announcement because it is it's, you, you say yeah. you're working on a game they didn't really want you know everything about the game has been kept private uh, hopefully we get leaks now so we can see what the hell this was because i want to know why it was cancelled um but yeah, yeah i mean going back to that i just think like I, I, there's, a, there's a very good article on polygon which goes into detail on like the game and uh, like titan what we know about it and how it sort of right it came to the forefront and then collapsed and all the rest of that stuff i mean i i say yeah. come to the forefront very loosely but i mean you've got like a lot of stuff where people are like they, i mean they moved um the the the, the main guy who is it uh, is it rob pardo or somebody the main guy anyway in charge of 
wow at the time was moved on to this product it's like you're over you yeah. go and like you said they took over uh, 100 members of staff at the peak these are people who've been taken off wow you know which wow is this because yeah, yeah. wow went through a period where it was you know the updates were very lax coming into wow you know it was almost like they, they lost focus on it and I, and I kind of think reading between the lines i think what they've done is they've realized that that was really fucking stupid to like take the a team off wow because wow did go through yeah. a rough period and its subs did decline you know and you have to remember it's activision blizzard that is the company now it's not blizzard i know blizzard have got yeah. like autonomy and they can kind of do what they like at the end of the day the board are going to be like what the hell is going on here you have you have fucked about on some game that you told us would be a next gen mmo <laughs> And all of this, yeah. and, and WoW was suffered as a result of this, and WoW is the biggest, uh, WoW has to be the, the biggest single grossing game ever. It's got to be. It's got to be, surely. I know it is in the MMO yeah, genre. It's, it's got to be I, up there. It has to be. Oh, well, in a way, though, in a way, it's almost like all the people who kind of cried out and said, oh my God, you can't merge Activision and Blizzard. You know, the, the two companies have got different values. The fact that they've actually pulled the plug on a seven-year developed game at least is a little bit of almost a reassurance that Blizzard still have a bit of power to do what they like, because... Yeah. You said Activision would never do that. Never in a million years would they pull the plug on a game that's been in development for seven years. I know, I mean, but Jesus Christ. I, I think the situation is a little bit different, though. With, I mean, Blizzard's got a lot of clout, so they can kind of say to Activision, no. Yeah. And Activision are like, well, okay. But I think, like, with Blizzard, they've. Um, they're, they're like a, they're, they're a, a name, like a brand known for producing quality games, aren't they? It's not like. It isn't, well, polished games, let's say. It isn't like Activision. They're a publisher. They just publish everything. You know, it's like it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It, you are right, though. I do. I do agree with what you're saying. I, I would. I, I mean, if it was an Activision decision, it would have been just release it in whatever state it is. We'll just try and make some money back because you know, it, money. Yeah, money is a big thing. Would. I mean, how much? A hundred members of staff. It wasn't for seven years solid. No, but you know, there were, let's just say at the peak there was a hundred members of staff. There's going to be a lot of people coming and going throughout the seven years. There's a lot of research yeah. and development. There's a lot of concept work. There's tons of stuff. You know, we're talking, you know, we're talking, a cons- I, I mean, I'm not even going to get, I, I haven't worked in game development, so I don't know the prices, but we are talking a considerable amount of money. It's, I, yeah, I, I, it's, I it's not going to be loose change. It's going to no. be a significant amount of money. I mean, I, I mean, seven years of production. Most, I mean, what are the, I can't even think of any other games that are like due to come out that have that length of time in production. I mean, when you look at how much things like, uh, like, I mean, look at how much the Call of Duty games cost. They're like five pounds fifty to produce, aren't they? And I they're think like, like four eighty. Like two... <laughs> <They're> like... <laughs> and they're like, I think is it is it a two year development cycle? There's always one being developed whilst another one's being released, so that it yeah. it overlaps year on year. It's seven years, and not not only just seven years as well. That's the thing is, it's not just seven years production. It's also the fact that at one point the best talent they had from World of Warcraft, which was like their highest grossing game ever, and it still brings in vast amounts of money moved to this other project so i mean what did they do to replace them did they hire more people to replace the people they took off world of war but how can you do that though this is the thing you can't take you, like that would be getting rid of me and you and replace and bringing somebody in to replace silos and carry off like you can't really do that that like you know we're talking of experience here and like these are the people who made world of warcraft yeah. you cannot just ship them off somewhere else and bring in bobby jones off the street and go carry on and that was because they get shitty they, content they, they, Oh yeah, that's the other thing. They talk about how they brought those people over because of their experience with World of Warcraft. Yeah. But the the, the like the, the experience in World of Warcraft is what made World of Warcraft so good and what kept people playing it. So taking people away from that is like, did they think that perhaps Titan was going to but not replace it. WoW? But I think they eclipse did. it in some way. Yeah, yeah, I think they did. And there's interesting quotes with them saying like, "Oh, we think you know it's going to be uh, um, what's a face." Uh, oh my god was it Morheim he, he was saying like right, yeah. they would work together you know one isn't going to eclipse the other they're going to be the same thing I think they've realised you can't do that because it'll be this is the new game and everybody would move to it and leave the other game dead yeah. and I don't think they're ready to do that but there's a couple of interesting quotes we've got here this is off um, Metzen and Morheim on the cancellation of uh, Titan of the project so this is what they say. We had created World of Warcraft and we felt really confident that we knew how to make MMOs Morheim said these are taken from uh, Polygon as well guys uh, we set out to make the most ambitious thing you could possibly imagine, and it just didn't come together. We didn't find the fun, Morheim continued. We didn't find the passion. 
we talked about how we put it through a reevaluation period. This is what happened last year as well. Like uh, I think it was in 2013, they canned mm-hmm. it and they put it through a reevaluation. Uh, they reevaluated what they were doing with it to see if it was actually worthwhile. And of course, the results of that, which came out the other day, is like, no, it isn't. Anyway, I continue, uh, and we actually, uh, uh, and actually, what we reevaluated is whether that the game, this is the game we really wanted to be making, and the answer is no. Now you can read that a few different ways, right? Because the game you want to be making and the game that you're making will be profitable. <laughs> this is kind of like, you know, because let's let's mm. look at let's look at some st- let's look at Blizzard's recent history. Okay, so Hearthstone, they announced they've got 20 million users the other day. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a free to play card game, right? Yeah, the only other thing in that market was Magic: The Gathering, and that was not free to play. You had to buy that, but you know, I know it wasn't expensive. But so this is like a, a kind of like they're at the forefront of the trade, the online trading card game, you know, genre. Yeah, how much did that cost yeah. them to produce? Right, let's be realistic here. Right, Hearthstone is extremely simplistic, okay, in its interface and all the rest of that. It's polished. It's Blizzard. You'd expect that. This is not. Like, I mean, they even say, uh, I think he said, um, Metzen about this, about we don't kind of want to be known as this big AAA blockbuster, you know, summer massive mega game release company, which is what they've always kind of been in the past. They've been pissing around with these mm. projects. And I bet you they've realized that, well, wait a minute. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the size of the Hearthstone team is, guys, but it's not going to be massive. We've made something here, which has well, made us oodles of cash. <laughs> and it's like, it yeah. doesn't really take much effort. But what we've done is quite clever because we've gone into a genre and we've, we've like done the typical Blizzard thing and like reinvented it a little bit, polished it up, dumbed it down. That's what they've done because Magic the fucking Gathering is insanely complicated. I'm not even going to pretend to understand that. Hearthstone, though, yeah. I mean, I didn't even care about card games. In fact, you know what? Fuck me, this is an extremely good example of Blizzard because what did Blizzard do with WoW? They made MMOs accessible to average Bob on the street. I used to play MMOs before that yeah. and people would be like, oh, you're fucking living in your mom's basement and all this shit. It's like, well, no, I was actually playing football for a professional team, so fuck off. So I was didn't fit that, but whatever. You've got like what they've done with 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 wow the, the example is exactly the same with hearthstone because i didn't give a shit about yeah. tro- i would never have played magic or any of that shit but i've played hearthstone i mean hell i'm gonna stream i'm gonna stream hearthstone what the hell i play it quite a lot yeah and i think that's what's yeah. happened i honestly think that they've looked at it and they've gone you know what i don't think we need to we- they also said as well about do they really want to be known as like the mm the mmorpg company See, that's something that actually i think that's really interesting because it's like you can kind of say well, Blizzard, you know, that it's MMOs. They do World of Warcraft, but the thing is, actually, they don't do MMOs. They do one. They've only ever done one. Yeah. And they've got this reputation as being like the kings of the MMO genre because the one game they made was really fucking good. But when you look at it, right, and apply other games they've made, who would you say is the king of the collectible car game genre now? Well, it's Blizzard, isn't it? All day, yeah. I mean, who would you say was the king of like competitive RTS? Oh wait, that was Blizzard again with StarCraft and StarCraft 2. They don't like they don't produce like a hell of a lot of games. They don't produce a ton of content. But everything they do basically takes the best from everything. It basically condenses it down into a game that you look at it and you're like, that's a Blizzard game. And you know a Blizzard game when you see a Blizzard game. What I think is interesting out of what Morheim said about Time in World of Warcraft. We created World of Warcraft and we felt really confident we knew how to make MMOs. So we set out to make the most ambitious thing you could possibly imagine, and it didn't come together. And then when Morheim's like, we didn't find the fun, we didn't find the passion, that to me says that they were like, holy shit, World of Warcraft, it's it's absolutely insane. We can do what we like, we can make another one. We can absolutely make another one, and it'll be just as you know, just as successful. And then, but the problem with doing that is it's like, if you do something just for the sake of it being successful, and just for the sake of it making money, for a company like Blizzard, where it's like, releases that are few and far between but everything is highly polished and at the end of the day everything is really fun that's like a terrible attitude to have going into a project because it's like it's never going to live up to world of warcraft if you're going into it purely on the basis of we did this once we can do it again so let's do it anyway do you think it's this like, is unless a case they had of... a clear goal in mind do you think this is a case of like well, i we see this quite often now with uh big developers or, or people who've worked with big, big developers kind of going off and doing their own thing through Kickstarter or whatever. Do you think this is a mm. case, right, of in the past, right, let, let's look at the games Blizzard made. So, you know, you look at Warcraft, you look at Starcraft, you look at 
wow, these were games that they actually wanted to make. Yeah, there were risks. It was yeah. like, let's make this game. Let's be creative and rip off all of the Warhammer universes. Anyway, let's be creative and let's make a game, right? And they did, right? And they made these games, which became genre-defining games, and that was awesome. Yeah. I think Titan could possibly be a realization of, of again they've tried to go out like you just said and replicate what they've done with wow but make it more complex more whatever and then they've just thought to themselves we don't really like we're not really enjoying making this because we want to be indie devs you know they don't want to be indie devs obviously but they yeah. want to go back to that like freedom thing so, i just want to do what i want to do and maybe that's where like hearthstone yeah. and shit like that came from Heroes of the Storm well, that's the is thing, a little I mean, bit Hearthstone, different. But Hearthstone, Hearthstone yeah. was like, when they announced it, it was like, this is just a project that we're doing on the side. And then it's like, it's come out and, what, 20 million users? Yeah. It, it must I mean, for a project done on the side, yeah. because they felt like doing it, that's right. insane. And the thing is, you can't even say, you can't sit there and say to me, well, the thing is, Kerry, they, they obviously saw the collectible card game market and thought, yeah, we can tap into that. No, I don't think they no did. there was no fucking market. Yeah. It no. didn't exist. I mean, what no. was what was the market? There was Scrolls, you know what they which did? was okay, you know, you know what they but fucking had a did? massively low scrolls user shit. You know what they did, bloke? You know what they fucking did? They did they, 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 they fucking fuck... I know what they did. I forgot my point. No, I know I know what I was going to say. <laughs> right. <laughs> they, there was a game they cancelled, yeah, which was based on, uh, uh, what was it, Necromunda, is it? The... The, yeah. the hive gang thing Warhammer yeah it was thing. nomad yeah they cancelled that right starcraft is based on on 40k whether you like it or not the marines even look the same War, yeah, uh, warcraft is based on fantasy right <laughs> i'm just gonna throw it out there it seems to me that they take um heavy influence from like games they play in the real world okay so i bet a yeah. lot of them play magic the gathering and they thought we can probably put like a Warcraft spin on this, and that's where Hearthstone came from. Exactly. I exactly yeah. agree with what you just said. I don't think they sat there and thought, oh, there's a fucking... I don't think they ever sit there and it's like, oh, there's a market opportunity. Well, they just were like, oh, let's make yeah. a game. But I think they did that with Titan, because it's like, we are the big dogs in the MMO market. Yeah. We're going to do it, it again. Like, it's like, mm. It feels like... that. It feels like with World of Warcraft, they did it because they were playing... M I mean, they've even said they were big players of MMOs, and they're like, can we, you know, can we do something with this? And then they did, and it turned out World of Warcraft. They played card games. They were like can we do something with this? And they turn out to be Hearthstone. With Heroes of the Storm, I've no doubt that that will turn out to be quite successful. I mean, some of them talk about playing Dota 2 and League of Legends. So again, that's like, we've played another game. We think, hey, we could make something like this. Let's give it a try. And Heroes of the Storm, it's, it's not a bad game. And when it comes out and it's been more polished and it, it's on general release, I'd imagine it will do really, really well. Not because they sat there and went, we need to break into this market. Because let's be honest here, the MOBA market especially is fucking saturated. But it's saturated by two games, League of Legends and Dota 2. I mean, you've got Smite yeah. kind of lurking around the side, uh, on the side because it's you know a different take on it. But Heroes of the Storm, frankly, is not a viable business decision because it's a market that is completely rammed by two companies who throw money at it hand over fist. I mean, League of Legends, the prize pools for the World Championships are insane. They employ esports teams every year just to keep a championship going, which boosts figures, which boosts advertising revenue, which then boosts people playing the game. You know, they're at a point now where they're not quite unassailable because Dota 2 is getting pretty much as ridiculous. But, you know, these two games have absolutely got that on lockdown. For another company, even one as big as Blizzard, to sit there and go, yeah, we can take this market... That's like, that's hubris, that's hubris, that's stupid. You wouldn't do that because it's like, yeah. there's no way we could possibly just jump in and suddenly have market share. Instead, it again, it feels like they've played different games and been like, we could do this. Yeah, this is fun, let's try it. And as a result, they've made a fun game. Titan, it really does feel like, looking at everything else they've done, it's like, we have to do this because we've done it once, we can do it again. As opposed to, we want to do this because it's going to be fun and it's going to be interesting. Uh, well, I now, mean, let's not kid ourselves here. Blizzard are not like Blizzard do not need to do anything. Blizzard could just sit there for the next twenty years, and and even in, with WoW development, how it is, and the other games that they put out, they would be fine. They don't have to go out and keep reinvent. I mean, all Blizzard do is reinvent the wheel, isn't it? Really, it's like take a take take a something they enjoy doing and kind of make it maybe a little bit more simplistic, a little bit more kind of streamlined fun, and then they sort of go for it. I mean, yeah. Heroes of the Storm is a good example of that because Heroes of the Storm is not. It isn't, this is not League of Legends. I mean, League of Legends, even Dota players would say that's not that complicated. But I mean, you compare Heroes of the Storm to League of Legends, and that's like comparing Dota to League of Legends, you know, in the terms of complexity, yeah. really. It's like, although Heroes is a little bit different with its like objectives and stuff on the map, but I, I, I mean, I, yeah, I completely agree. But it, it, I, I just think again, it's like the same, yeah, it's like the same formula as Hearthstone, though. It's like taking the more fun elements of the game 
and putting them into a simplistic game that, frankly, I mean, I'm not particularly good at Hearthstone, but I really enjoy it. You know, for a casual player, somebody who just wants to dip in now and again, Hearthstone is like the card game. Hard to play Magic. There's no point playing Magic. There's nobody to play it with. You have to sit there for like a month just to get anywhere yeah, in it. Yeah. And it's the same with, with Heroes of the Storm. It's like, you could sit there and jump into League of Legends and not have access to anything and, you know, you'd be stuck in a stupid position where you have to play AI until you got to like level 30 because I was just like, well, what's the point? Alternatively, you could just play Heroes of the Storm. It's still free to play. Well, that's similar to WoW, isn't it? Rotation, and you can just jump in. Well, well, that's kind of similar to WoW, isn't it? It's like you've got a lot of people who play WoW, so why would they play another MMO? I mean, that like League of Legends has got a massive yeah. user base now. It, like, let's be honest, it don't really need to grow, does it? I mean, it's so bloody massive. It's like, well, yeah, who, who, who even? You know, they don't need to grow. But I, like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just think, I think it's weird. Like, I don't know why. Well, I think to be honest, I think we've covered a lot of the points or most of the interesting points as to why we think this has been cancelled. What I'd like to know, though, is what the hell it was, because th there is like some wild, yeah, like wild things. Like I'm hoping we see leaks and work out what this is, but I seem like people saying like it was, uh, or I oh god, somebody from Blizzard said it was like a futuristic, like a near futuristic, like apocalyptic thing. That was the the setting of the game. There's been things thrown around like, uh, is it some sort of like MMO FPS style thing, which takes inspiration yeah. from StarCraft Ghost, but kind of makes it a bit different like a third yeah. person like sort of shooter thing on the go and it's like okay you know i guess going back to why they cancelled it maybe it maybe it was designed to be a a pay monthly subscription mmo and history shows now that those mmos are pretty much doomed to capitulation because yeah. there is only wow and everything else is is free to play maybe they didn't want to kind of make it free to play i don't know but i mean yeah. what what do you think i mean what, what i mean what do you think it could have been well... The only thing, I, with a name like Titan, I just kind of pegged it as being some sort of sci-fi set. I don't know why, because, I mean, Titan's not exactly a particularly sci-fi word. It's more kind of traditional kind of Roman mythology and stuff. But I just I had it pegged as a futuristic MMO. They talked about Next Gen, so I wondered about things like, what like what was Next Gen about it? Was, was it some kind of thing where you had, like, more people per server or per area or was there some sort of ridiculous shard technology going on where everyone could interact at the same time or like play generating something... content stuff yeah. yeah or it'd be something like um like star citizen where you've you know you can travel around but there's loads of different environments and there's different types of combat i mean the thing is next gen and mmo are two phrases that are so like next they're so vague a shit phrase anyway yeah yeah it's like yeah. it could apply to absolutely anything but for me, I, I always thought it was going to be some sort of sci-fi game. But the thing is, it's difficult to peg on what, because they're saying that when they said, well, we've done World of Warcraft and, you know, we were confident we could make another one, was part of the problem. The fact that when they looked at it, they're like, shit, we've made World of Warcraft in space. No one's going to play this because we've already got World of Warcraft. You know, how... You know what? <laughs> maybe they have maybe they did things, right? Because they did say, uh, I, I think Morheim said this, or maybe uh, Metzen, but they did say it had very interesting hooks. Now, what that means is it had some interesting yeah. mechanics. Maybe you'll see these getting plugged into World of Warcraft because you might have hit the nail on the head there. Maybe they've realized what they'd made, right? It was a decent game, but they probably realized they could plug in the, the extra shit they've made just into WoW anyway. Yeah. And they might have thought, well, okay, imagine if we release this thing, people might be saying, well, why isn't this in WoW? Why isn't that in WoW? And you're going to have that. I mean, at the end of the day, whatever they do, if they make another MMO, which it kind of looks like they probably won't now, not in the traditional sense because of WoW, it would always be compared to WoW and it would always be, why isn't this in yeah. WoW? What the hell is going on sort of thing. I mean, hell, I know people who play WoW quite religiously and I know they're totally fucking angry at this because a lot of people would, like, as we said earlier, why they were diverted from WoW development onto Titan and that made WoW suffer as a result. It's just fact, yeah. you know, that it just would have. But I mean, like but, you said, yeah, I, go on. Something that, I mean, something that um, the both Met, Metz and Morheim are both kind of said in different ways, but one of the quotes that we've got here is that they called the decision to cancel Titan excruciating. It's always really, really hard to make these kind of decisions. It was hard when we cancelled Warcraft Adventures. It was hard when we cancelled Starcraft Ghost. But it has always resulted in better quality work. Now, to be honest, I I would agree with that. Because, as, as we've said, like they are not a company that slams out content and new games and new IPs year on year. You know, it's actually kind of, let's be honest, a new, like a brand new Blizzard game is kind of a rare thing there's quite there's a lot of expansions and patches and various other things going on you don't like it's not like it, it's not like activision you know it's it's like the opposite 
it's rare releases, but they're very good quality. So when they stay, like, I mean, people would say they're surprised that they've cancelled the game because, oh, it's not like Blizz. Well, actually, Blizzard have cancelled quite a few games. But the difference is they don't produce a lot of games to cancel. It's like the, the ratio of development to cancel seems it's, it's kind like of equal, isn't it? No, because they don't. Well, well, I don't know because I mean, like, I've got th- there's a list here, and it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cancel games, and like how many games have yeah. they actually made? You know, like it's it's almost like they make one and cancel one sort of thing going on. But like, I yeah, Blizzard. I mean, I guess I... they're in a, a unique position to be able to do this kind of thing, though. They've got a state. I mean, let's face it. They've got a. It would be nice to I say see, a stable like... income is an understatement. The, the biggest issue I've got step out of the comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, and and this is the issue I've got. It would like I would like to see a new IP because all it ever is is Diablo, Warcraft, or Starcraft. That is all it ever is. I yeah. it. I mean, Hearthstone. Well, you know, I've completely disregarded Warcraft. Diablo in this entire discussion. Yeah, but <laughs> you know, it's it, it's always the same thing because they yeah yeah they the the leaders of the genres, all of them are, and they all uh, heroes. Of the, I mean, Jesus Christ, Heroes of the Storm and Half. Stone, a bloody derivatives of World of Warcraft and all their other games together as one. Yeah. So it's not like it isn't really any like. There's no like Blizzard. Maybe they're a little bit like a little bit too obsessed with being in their own little bubble. They've got their own little thing. Yeah. You know, like I, I see Metzen always going on about the culture of Blizzard, the culture of this, the culture of that. I think they're a little bit too like we've got these things and we can just keep making games around these things, and and that's fine. Yeah. But it would be nice to see them push the boat out every now and again because it's like it, it's like the Hollywood fucking they could sequel comfortably... syndrome. Like just keep making it all. Oh making it god, all. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like they they are very comfortable where they are. They're in a position where the stuff that they produce has got a consistent background, a persistent story, and you know it's got to the point where because of these because these franchises are so well known by pretty much every game, it's like okay, I can relate to that. I know what that is. It's a Blizzard game, and it's got this in it. But on the other hand, that kind of that limits what you can what you can do with it, and it limits the stories you can tell and. I don't know whether, I mean, I don't know whether, this has got something to do with Titan as well. Maybe, I mean, it was supposed to be a new IP, right? They, they stated that quite a few times, new IP. Did they look at it and they were like, well, it, it's not what people know us for. Is, does that factor into the decision? Are they cancelling it? Because, I mean, have they cancelled it? Because they looked at it and they're like, but no one knows who these characters are. Whereas previously, they have relied on, I mean, Warcraft, World of Warcraft, based on Warcraft, You've got three Diablo games. You've got two StarCraft games. Heroes of the Storm is just full of all the characters from all the games. As you say, they're locked in. They're in their own little bubble. Do they really... Are they, like, terrified of stepping out of that? Were they worried that if they released it, it would be like, well, this isn't a Blizzard game because it's not got these characters in. You know, have they locked them... Have they essentially locked themselves in a room and they don't know how to get out of it? Because it's <laughs> like, well, you know, if we don't, if we don't put this character in that someone recognises, people won't play it. What about this then? This is a little bit of a dark thought. What about this? Yeah. So if if well, what we do know for fact is it was some sort of like near future apocalyptic thing. Okay. Activision publish Destiny. Maybe there was some sort of like if it was similar, you know, like in a similar type of like apocalyptic Earth setting thing going on. Maybe because let's think about the timing of these announcements. This has come out. This announcement after this massive, successful, like five hundred million dollar launch of fucking Destiny. That's that's not pocket yeah. change. That's major cash. Maybe there is a little bit of like. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We're Activision, and we don't want our products competing against themselves because that might be. I mean, I don't know. It probably isn't because Blizzard could probably do whatever they like. But it does seem a little bit weird, like the timing. Because at the end of the day, I mean, you could say yeah. like. The, I'm going to kind of kill my own argument here, but like you could say maybe Blizzard are worried about taking them on, but that doesn't make any sense because Blizzard have made games to take everyone in every other genre. I mean, look at Heroes of the Storm. It's a MOBA. <laughs> yeah. in like, you know, so that I don't think that really matters, but maybe there was like a little bit of outside pressure off them to sort of get rid of the project. Um, but I don't think I mean, they, they would have. I don't, I don't know. I don't think they would have booked. There could also have been outside pressure. It's nothing to do with Destiny. It's just the fact that they've had a game in production for seven years. Yeah, what and you had nothing to show for it because that's the other thing as well. It's like the thing that one of the one of the things I don't like about this kind of this new story as it's being shown around is it's. I mean, technically it is news, but personally, I was I I was not surprised in the slightest, and I, I couldn't see why anyone would be because. If you look at projects that have been in production for that long, 
with literally nothing to show for it, and I mean nothing. Show me a screenshot of Titan. Show me a trailer. Show me... I mean, show me a fucking line of code. I don't care. Show me anything <laughs> that this game got to, like, any kind of playable state at all in seven years, and I'll be really surprised. Yeah. I mean, what's the, I mean, what's the alternative? Like, well, hang on. They, they have they, kept pushing it no, and they, ended no, up no, with, no. like, they a did terrible... Say, they did say that it was in some sort of playable state, state because they did say they were playing it and enjoying it. So there, was, there must have been something they had. I want to see it, though, Mr. Kirioff. So, so where... Yes, yeah, so where I want is to see it? it? Like, what... That we'll what was so bad it. about it that they were like, no, it's not. And, and where did, where did they go you from we've been playing it and we liked it to where there was no fun, there was no passion, and we don't want to make it anymore? Where, you know, where was the, where was the switch over? I want to see a leak because where? I know there are people who leak from Blizzard because remember the um, StarCraft Heart of the Swarm cinematic was leaked the end at the ending, remember? Oh, eight, yeah, yeah. Well before the game had come out. I want to see that person, <laughs> if they've not been fired, which they probably have, I want to see them go into the <laughs> Titan thing and tell me what it is. But I don't think we're going to see any stuff like that because I think, going back to my earlier point, they'll probably start using stuff, technologies or whatever, or hooks or whatever the fuck they've designed for that, start sticking it into their other games. So it, it looks like a fresh thing. Because if you came out and said, oh, yeah, we developed this, 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 and this, and then... A year later, new Warcraft expansion, its main thing is one of these. You'd just be like, well, the fuck, you know, this isn't new. So yeah, it would lose yeah, its impact, yeah. so I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll end it at that because it's been quite quite the debate. I mean, we thought it was worth doing. I mean, yeah, it's not really news news, but it's a good way to sort of discuss what's going on at Blizzard because Blizzard is kind of like yeah. a, and an interesting thing. I company. think the, th the thing is as well that something like this is like, yeah, Blizzard have cancelled plenty of games in the past, but through through for any developer to hold production on a game after seven years, after they've put so much into it, like as much as Blizzard has, you know, in terms of manpower, in terms of the staff they've picked to do it, and in terms of the money it would have cost to get to this point, and then to just call it off, that's not a regular thing. Like, it, it might not be surprising, but at the same time, you do not have that happen in this industry every day. Because the repercussions of it are really quite big. You know, I mean, we've had other things cancelled before, but after seven years in production from a company like Blizzard, who usually produce really polished stuff, after they've moved all of their like best well, staff onto it, we just it's, don't know. It's, though, just, do we? it's weird. It's just weird. It makes the, yeah, but they've they, given an explanation, but there's no specifics, which makes it really strange. They've made the game. They said it was playable. What they had, right? And then they just scrapped it and started fucking about and something else and said, "Oh, fuck it." So they had made something. They've made something. It's not like they've done nothing for seven yeah. years. But then there's been a big catastrophe or some sort of turning point where it's just like. Yeah. Well, actually, if they did reevaluate it, they obviously thought this isn't going to work as a game. Like, it's not going to be a success. It might work as a game, but it might not actually work because of all these other factors yeah, we discussed. Yeah. And then they've tried to rescue it and couldn't. I don't know. Listen, guys, I want to see comments below. I want to see what you think Titan actually was. If you work at Blizzard, go and find out what it was. <laughs> uh, why do you think it was cancelled? And that's pretty much it. I, have you got any last final words, Mr. Kirioff? Yeah, someone just send us the documents. Usual address in a brown envelope. <laughs> we'll send you a pack of hard knobs. It's payment. <laughs> just like a brown, like, with whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of Hot Fix. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Game, and you can follow Kirioff on. At Kirioff. Oh, baby. And uh, we want to see comments below, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.